fullback was wide open for about an 8 or 10 yard gain. Second down and 10. On the slant, there goes Braylon Edwards. Edwards on a foot race, and no one's going to get near him. 80 yards for the Browns and the touchdown. Well, that play reminded me of Trent Dilfer back when he played for the Baltimore Ravens. He threw some short passes that were just caught and gone. And, Jim, you've said it. Trent Dilfer says this Braylon Edwards is something else. Against Joy Thomas making his first start, he sticks it right to his chest, and that's what you want, a wide receiver who can get out in the open and nobody can catch him. 80 yards. Cleveland then stretched its lead to 19 to 7 when Braylon Edwards juke Joey Thomas caught the ball and raced 80 yards for a touchdown. The score was Edwards first touchdown in the NFL. And first start for the Zips from Akron. The rookie Charlie Fry from Akron. Folks from Ohio throws a touchdown to Braylon Edwards, and look at this, he's 85. A play after drones hit the mark, Fry did also. His second pairing with Edwards gave Cleveland a... Browns down 3 nothing from their own 42-yard line on first down. Fry back to pass. Good time. Going to go long. He's got Edwards out the left sideline, and he's got it! Five! Touchdown! What a throw! What a catch! What a play! And the Browns lead, and that's the first touchdown given up by the Raven defense. 58 wonderful yards! The Browns seven. Harrison lines up in the backfield. They try and get their first offensive touchdown of the day. Here's Fry underneath center from the four. Third down and three. Charlie's got it. Short drop throws. Edwards makes the catch and fights and goes in and scores. Touchdown. Juravicious to the left. Three receivers right. Shotgun. Here's Fry. Play action to drones. He fires. Edwards wide open. At the two. At the one. Touchdown. Fry underneath center, takes the snap, play action fake, back in the pocket, steps up, goes into the end zone, up high, Braylon Edwards up, got it, touchdown! Fourth down and three for the Browns at the Steeler 45, Anderson takes the snap, drops, throws, and Edwards made the catch, he's got the middle of the field, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Braylon Edwards! Now they came with the blitz and they got burnt by the blitz. 45 yards and the Browns go in and score. Pulling the trigger to him, no matter who's trying to cover him. Jason. Great play call, maximum protection, little play action. Braylon Edwards did the little stutter and go on the outside and got all the separation he needed on Leon Hall. Ball delivered perfectly for the fourth time today. A touchdown pass from Derek Anderson. 34 yards. One hundred is good. Another look at the second touchdown reception by Edwards all alone. A blown coverage. <laughs> they don't tackle like Florida State. There's five returns for touchdowns this year on, by the way, on kickoffs, people. Nine all last year. That began to kickstart things for Cleveland. Braylon Edwards for a touchdown in the third quarter. And now Cleveland's up 17-16. The Jura Vicious. That's Hayden in motion. Good time for Anderson, going deep, and he's got Braylon Edwards, and there he goes, touchdown! He beat Chris McAllister. Can you believe the start by Cleveland? You watch, that's just a great throw by Derek Anderson, but what happened there, Chris McAllister, He's the gambler. He's the aggressive one. He tries and jumps the in route. And what happens? Braylon Edwards goes right by him. Wow. Plays on the ball. Dolphins 29th in the league in turnover margin. Here's Anderson. Steps and fires. In stride. Touchdown. Braylon Edwards. The Browns are pouring it on.
But just a couple of weeks ago, Lee Botton made an interception. And on the very next play, they went up top to Braylon Edwards against Baltimore. They do it today. Get the interception. Look at the seam. Excellent route running from Braylon Edwards. It's a trend from the offensive coordinator, Rob Chazinski. Coming off a turnover, you go for the throat with the big play up top. This is where they like to go to Jared Vicious or Kellen, Kellen Winslow. Out of the shotgun. Anderson steps and fires. Got his man. Edwards. Touchdown, Cleveland. Take your pick. You have other weapons, and the big frame of Braylon Edwards also serves well. Whenever you line the big receiver up in the slot to your left, he's outside, and then he's outside, finding some room to stab him right between the one and the seven. Those extra chances have really helped their football team today. Anderson also has a rushing touchdown here this afternoon. Four receivers set. Anderson, wow. jump ball. Braylon Edwards, he's gifted. Touchdown, Cleveland. It is a three-touchdown day for Braylon Edwards. And Cleveland has just put the finishing touches on this one. Goodman never had a chance against the 6'3", 215-pound Braylon Edwards. That is what Romeo Cornell meant when he said, hey, they have to learn. you got to make plays if you're going to be a star. Braylon Edwards is blossoming. He was a man among boys, and he's not disappointed whatsoever. Now a timing throw to the end zone. Braylon Edwards is in, and the Browns are on the board with a touchdown. Fakir Brown <laughs> defending is Fakir Brown. I cannot stay with Braylon Edwards. That's nah. been established in this game. You know, that's that Braylon Edwards' eighth touchdown reception of the year. In a normal year, if it wasn't for Randy Moss, he'd be leading the league right now. But look, at Derek Anderson knows there is no way Fakir or anybody else, Fakir Brown or anybody else, can outjump Braylon Edwards for this football. He has perfect timing, huge hands, and goes up and squeezes that ball. There's no doubt who's going to. Lone runner for the Browns. Three wide receivers. Late fake. What a throw. It's unbelievable. Guess who? You lose uh, adjectives for this guy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this touchdown, Cleveland. That is unbelievable. They're going into the unstoppable category right now. And I'll tell you this, Anderson, uh, he is throwing laser-sharp throws. Well, what, what they're doing is amazing. I, I saw right away when they came to the line, look, they're playing bump, man-to-man -man coverage across the board. You're giving Cleveland exactly what they want. They like their matchups across the board. When They've been grimacing. Open his defense. In it, Jim. Circled for us here. Phil, did he see right? right. Is he, okay. well, it's hard no to question it about the left foot. The left foot's definitely in. It's the right foot. There it is. It looks like it's in. Down Cleveland. But, you know, it, for the Browns this year, 35 possessions. They've scored 22 touchdowns, 10 field goals, 62.9% touchdown percentage. Fourth best in the league. First and 10. Anderson over the middle. Touchdown! Braylon Edwards. And I'll tell you what, Gus, that was a nice throw. Oh, my goodness. Derek Anderson threw that right down the pipe, right in the middle of three defenders. That's why this town loves him. Watch Edwards is going to come out, break it right to the goal line. Look at all the Texan defenders right there. Timed perfectly, thrown perfectly, great route. Wow. Boy, once again, as New Orleans just not where anybody thought they'd be at the start of the season. Final seconds of the third quarter. There's the pump. Anderson up top. Right on the hands of Raylan Edwards. He's still running. He was not down, and it's a touchdown, Cleveland. Terrence Holt arguing that he was down by contact. You know, some plays are just better than others, and this is one of those plays. Look at the double move by Braylon Edwards. The question is going to be, as Terrence Holt went by Edwards, did he touch it? Somebody loves Shakespeare in that Cornell household. 
Second and goal. Quick hits to Edwards for the touchdown as he catches it right off the shoulder pads of Darrell Rebus. Well, they're counting on Rebus, who's so talented, this rookie, to play man up on Edwards. That's a tough call. Well, usually when you say the back shoulder of a receiver, it's you're throwing to his back shoulder. In this case, it's the back shoulder of the cornerback. Revis, 24. Look at him pick that right off the right shoulder. It's a different guy in this game, not taking what they give and trying to force the ball in. But Anderson finally finds the end zone shortly before the end of the third quarter to Braylon Edwards, his 14th touchdown this season. That is a franchise record. That's why he's going to Hawaii. Receiving touchdowns, 14th zone, and three plays later, it's Anderson hitting Braylon Edwards again, and it's a five-point game. Yeah, they got the timing on that slant route. Perfect. So now the Bengals, all they have to do is second quarter, Derek Anderson finds his Pro Bowl wide receiver, Braylon Edwards, again. Now is a franchise record, 1,289 receiving yards, passing Webster Slaughter. Webster Slaughter was pretty darn good. Fourth quarter after exchanging punts on the goal line, here is Braylon Edwards making the play. And then and he's telling you to play it again. I'm playing my guitar, play it again back shoulder fade. This is one of the toughest routes. Why? Because the, the cornerback has all his momentum going one way and the stop and plan and find the ball is order. Same drive. First and 10. Anderson to Edwards. Touchdown. Browns on top. 27 to 14. Edwards second touch of the season. And Aaron Ross uh, left the game with an injury. From the Ravens 28th. First play after the Cribs return. Double move. Go up and jump ball. Tie goes to the runner. Why Dion. does the tie have offense to go to the offense Offense wins guy. a tie. Give him the touchdown. Edwards rips the ball away from Frank Walker. Or I guess wins the jump ball. At least it's not like college he basketball. It it's more. a change of possession. After the Ravens go three and out, the Browns get the ball back. It's 20 to 13. Plays later on a third and goal. It is Sanchez to his new toy, Braylon Edwards. Nice pass. And the game is tied up at seven. What a great catch, too, by Braylon Edwards. Finding the open man. Two plays later, Sanchez, Braylon Edwards. Nice. Get it in. The ball comes loose, but the officials. Again, Sanchez gets rushed, extends the play. Nice throw to Braylon Edwards, who makes a move. Gets her on top. They've won three in a row. Sean Green will start this series. Jets rush for only 14 yards in that first quarter. The number one rushing attack in the league that averages 170 a game on the ground. Just 14 that first time. Now going long. They've got a wide open man and he makes the catch. It's Braylon Edwards taking off. Braylon Edwards will take it home for the touchdown. 80 yards. The Colts know it. Everybody, the Jets look down the field for a big play. Oh, that is some nice route by Braylon Edwards. He comes off slow and just makes that little move inside. It makes the defensive back relax just enough. And then when he takes off, you cannot catch up. But they were worried. They said when they go deep, we know it's going to number 17. The problem on top is 7 to nothing. Mark Sanchez under a ton of scrutiny after throwing for just 74 yards a week ago to Braylon Edwards for a touchdown. This game, he gave his receivers a chance to go make a play. Seven are tripped up. Jason Allen and Edwards has gone 67 yards. Yeah, boy, you see that, man. We're set. Second quarter, Jets up 10 to nothing. Nice pump fake. Mark Sanchez, he finds a wide open Braylon Edwards into the end zone. A 41-yard score, putting them up 17 nothing. Leotis McKelvin biting on the pump fake. Sanchez finds So, still scoreless. Start of the second quarter. Sanchez to Braylon Edwards. Touchdown. Like Jets on Sanchez. Top. He doesn't blink. He just keeps firing it. What was that? Broncos next possession. They march it. Sanchez pumps. Goes for the bomb down the field. Caught. Edwards. Touchdown, New York. <laughs> 74 yards. You'll see it. It's nothing special. He gives a little outside wiggle, and it just takes Alfonso Smith too long to get out of his back pedal. Edwards catches that one. 
We talked about how many problems this receiving core had a week ago getting their hands on the ball and holding on to it. No such problem here. Just a go route. He could draw that one in the dirt. Defense in the league feasting to set up Sanchez to Edwards. Treat him like who they are.